In this video, we are going to show you how to install a Clock Audio CDT100 Mark III Dante Transporter. The CDT100 Dante Transporter can be mounted locally under a table. For this, you will need a flat surface to screw both holes through the mounting flange. We recommend that you use a number 6 screw and a type of screw that is applicable to the surface you are attaching it to. You can connect up to four microphone elements to the CDD100 Mark III using the four included Phoenix blocks. Please note that the 48 volt phantom power is turned on by default. You can also connect up to four LED touch buttons, such as the TS003, TS005, SWP2, the SADS switch plate, and the SMADS shock mounts, or any clock audio microphones with the embedded RGB touch buttons, like the CRMS series and the CSS series microphone using the RG45TS port on the CDD100. Don't forget to use the included TSC1 with any RGB touch buttons as it is required. Once connected, you can test the functions of each switch using the test mode, which we will cover later in the video. The CDD100 can control ARM motorized boundary microphones when used in combination with an ARM controller connected to the RJ12 ARMC port. You can also control a CCRM motorized ceiling microphone using that same ARMC port. You can daisy chain up to 6 CDD100 off of a single CAT5E shielded or CAT6 cable. To do so, you just need to bring the network cable to the first unit in the chain and connect the second port to the second unit, and so on. Connect the 12 volt DC power supply to the 12 volt barrel connector. The power light on the front should illuminate green to indicate normal operation. There should also be some activity on the CDD100 Dante port LED indicators. You can also daisy chain the power of a single 12 volt 5 amp power supply to up to 6 CDD100 using the Phoenix in and out blocks. A brand new addition to the CDT100 Mark III is the implementation of diagnostic modes. In total, there are two modes, test and view mode. The view mode will let you calibrate your gain levels using the LED buttons as a view meter. The view mode can be activated within the Clock Audio Control Panel application. Head over to the top left and select Diagnostics from the tools menu. When speaking in the microphone, the LED button will change between three different colors, green, yellow, and red. At green, the signal will be around minus 40 dB or higher. At yellow, the signal will be minus 6 dB or higher, and the red signal will be at minus 3 dB or higher. We recommend keeping your gain in the green, sometimes speaking in the yellow, but never in the red. The test mode can be either activated by using a paperclip and holding it in the front pin hole labeled test for five seconds, or it can be accessed using the Clock Audio Control Panel software. Once the test mode is enabled, each connected touch switches will turn red. Every time the switch is pressed, the RGB colors will cycle. Once you have tested this, you will have confirmed that your LEDs work, the capacitance of the touch button works, and the TS port on the CDT100 also works. The CDT100 Mark III now has gain knobs with the default gain option at the beginning. This default gain is the same levels that was used by previous version of the CDT100. If you place some clock audio boundary microphones at around 18 to 24 inches from the edge of the table, you should not need to change the levels as the default setting is optimized for this application. If you have an application that requires to put microphones closer to the participants, you will have the ability to adjust your gain accordingly. If you have to change the level of the gain, we recommend that you set your levels while using the view mode as it will help you set the levels visually using your LED touch switches as a view meter. If you are using a multiple element microphone like a CS3 SRF or a CRM203 SRF, you can change the TS cable to other ports 
to monitor the corresponding channel of your elements. The CDD100 features two network interfaces sharing the same network port. This way, you can set one IP address to your logic and one for your Dante or AES67 audio. To change the CDT100 control IP, go to Tools, Device Network Settings. Select Static to enter new IP details or choose Dynamic to revert to DHCP and click OK. A reboot is required for the changes to take effect. Select Yes to reboot. The audio IP address can be changed in the Dante Controller app. This is how you can assign the four input channels and two output channels in Dante Controller. All Clock Audio analog microphones and buttons are compatible with the CDT100 Mark III as well as our custom microphone configurations. We hope this video was helpful. For more information, please visit our website at www.clockaudio.com.